Let's look at how we can download and extract from a .zip file that has a zipped up folder with a Visual C Sharp program. So here's one all set that your instructor, me, has ready to go, button clicking counters and totals.zip. We'll download this, so I will click on it with a left click and download it. I'm using Chrome right now. And once it's downloaded, I don't want to open up the file right there. It's going to, it will open up, but if I try to use those contents in Visual Studio, it's not going to work out. Just trust me on this. We've got to show this in a folder because we're going to have to extract from the file. So we're looking now in the downloads folder and you might notice that there's a little zipper on this folder because it's actually, as you see in the type, a compressed or zipped folder or a compressed or zipped file. And again, opening this up here, it'll let us do it, but that's not what we really want to do. It's not going to work out for us. We can mess with the pink thing on top, and there are some things to do there. I'm going to show you this method by right-clicking. That's what I'm doing now is right-clicking on this file. And one of the choices, the third one down, is Extract All. I'll select it, and that's okay. I'll extract. And here's a folder with the same name as the .zip file, but it's an actual file folder. I don't need that compressed or zipped folder anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And that's the one that has the zipper on it. So I know that's, I don't need that anymore. I've got what I really need, which is the file folder. You're seeing what the instructor, me, has to go through when you turn in your stuff for me to grade. Now I can double click on this. I gotta look, double click on that. And here's a .sln file. That's going to lead us to Visual Studio. So I'll double click on that. And this project will open up in Visual Studio. And it's going to want to know if you can trust me. Well, I wrote it. I trust myself. So I'll click OK. But I don't see a form. That's OK. It is there. Over in Solution Explorer, you'll see form1.cs. So I'll highlight it for you right now. But what we really want to do is double click on form1.cs. That's coming up. And then the form will show up on our screen. And now it looks like what you're used to seeing. We're all ready to go. What was compressed or zipped, we've now extracted, and we've got everything we need. But again, you've got to extract the file from the zip file. Don't just try to open the zip file, or you're going to be very disappointed.